Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Campbell here and welcome back to another round of World of Warcraft. We are still on the PTR server, still pre-patch for Wallet of Draenor, patch 6.0.2 and we are still trying to increase, or I still try to increase the performance of my enhancement shaman. Um, but something has changed. First of all, we are not anymore a green orc, we are a blue tentacle monster. Uh, why? Very, very simple, because um, every time I queue up as an orc for PvP, it took me something about... Pff, 10 to 20 minutes until I get into a game. So I thought maybe when I do change the faction to alliance, I will, uh, I don't have to sit so long in a queue and I would get a little bit faster my uh, footage for you, but uh, nope, it doesn't work. But anyway, um, still, it's still enhancement shaman, the equipment, it's still the same, but um, also, some of you thought I would wear PvE equipment in PvP and that this would be the reason why uh, my performance or the performance for a Handsman Shaman was uh, not what it should be. Um, let me tell you this. It maybe looks like PvE equipment, but uh, let me assure you that it is full PvP gear. Five 50. I am wearing not even one piece of PvE gear in PvP. Um, I only use the transmog because I think or I like the way it looks. And also uh, I keep the helmet on because I don't want to I don't want to see the uh, blue tentacle monster. So but also I did a few changes uh, which hopefully will land into an increasement of my performance as or our performance as enhancement shaman. So let's get over to that point and let me show you and, and ensure you that I'm really wearing PvP gear in PvP and which changes I have chosen or which changes I have uh, I, I've did to hopefully increase my performance. So, first of all, uh, yes, I am a blue tentacle monster, so that's the reason why I'm keeping the helm on. And yep, it looks, like you already saw, it looks like PvE gear. The reason for it is transmog, and um, the experienced players of you maybe already recognize it, that I'm do wearing full PvP gear. Every piece that I'm wearing is PvE. P. But I will show you every piece so to ju just to make sure that you know that it is full PvP and it's the best full it's the best PvP gear which is available for me for now. So yes, it looks like PvE gear, but it is PvP gear because it's transmog. That's the reason why it looks like PvE gear. So this was the first point. Let's get over to the second point. Some of you seems to be a little bit confused because I haven't, haven't um, enchanted my weapon. The reason for it is very, very simple. Because it's not anymore available for us to choose for ourselves which uh, enhancement or enchant we want to have on our main or offhand weapon. Right now you will have a skill called enhanced weapons and this makes it passive so you have not anymore the, the option to cho pick and choose for yourself what kind of uh, enchantment do you want to have on your main or offhand weapon right now is automatically main hand is wind fury and offhand as enhancement shaman is naturally flame tongue so so far so good hopefully you get informed by this and uh, the description for this skill i will write in to the video description so just to make sure you know what's going on so that means that even when you do not see um in my buff line you don't see flame tongue weapon as a buff or wind fury weapon as a buff it's still active and when you do pay attention and take a closer look into combat it's like i said you won't see that enchant into in, in my buff line but you will recognize that i do trigger flame tongue weapon attacks and do damage with them as, as, uh, as i do also 
trigger wind fury attacks. So it is working even when you do not see the buff in my line. And for now, uh, it looks like the only two buffs we can give to ourselves uh, without talking about uh, totems are the lightning shield and water walking or uh, water running whatsoever playing Jesus. So hopefully now this is clear to some of you guys. So let's get over to the next point and uh, if you watched some of my last Enhancement Shaman videos in PvP you maybe recognize that I was a little bit disappointed and concerned. Maybe not disappointed is maybe the wrong word for it but I was a little bit concerned when it comes to performance as Enhancement Shaman in PvP and I still feel a little bit... Uh, or I didn't feel really competitive compared to classes like um, Retribution Paladin, uh, Frost Death Knight or even Fury Warriors. So I thought, okay, maybe, maybe it's me who's doing something wrong and because of that I don't get the needed performance out of it, which would be absolutely fine because then it's me. Uh, but it also maybe, uh, I thought maybe it's something that has to do with Enhancement Shaman. So I thought, okay, what can I do change to try to get more performance out of the Enhancement sh Shaman? And uh, this led to the decision that I um, decided to change some of the enchants and some of my gems. And because of that, I removed um, all enchants and all gems um, with mastery and instead of going full on mastery or where I uh, previously where I used mixed gems with let's say uh, plus to mastery and plus to agility right now I will use instead of that um, I will use a gem which will give me plus of haste and plus of agility and the same thing with uh, gems where I previously used like say pure mastery plus 20 right now uh, i will remove them or i removed them just to test how well we will do perform with uh, full haste or when we do use more haste instead of mastery so i removed my plus 20 mastery gems for plus 20 haste gems and also some of my green Gems. I also removed uh, previously. They, they these were mixed gems with plus uh, five or no, no plus ten to mastery and plus five to uh, p -p 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 plus five to uh, PvP might or PvP power. So I also removed them and instead of them, and this will, I will show you, I uh, decided to use plus also plus. 10 to haste and plus 5 of PvP power. So, just uh, to make sure you know what's going on, I removed all mastery gems. That means that I removed nearly every gem and uh, also every enchant which had some improvement or gave us some kind of improvement for uh, mastery. I removed them and uh, instead of that, I changed them to haste. That means that all yellow uh, gems that I used with plus mastery are now giving me plus uh, plus haste and also green gem like I said instead of plus uh, 10 mastery I will get plus 10 haste and plus 5 pvp power. And naturally it's the same thing for my orange uh, gems. Now I do get from them 5 agility plus 5 agility and plus 10 haste instead of plus uh, 5 agility and plus 10 mastery. The main reason for me um, to pick haste instead of picking mastery was, and um, I don't want to make this sound bad, but personally I don't like uh, haste. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't like it. It's maybe something to do with uh, I always would prefer quality over quantity. But I thought, okay, maybe when I do increase um, the amount of haste so far that qu 
quantity will improve far better than quality, then uh, it also will improve my 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 um, performance as a handsman shaman so far that I would will feel more or far more competitive than I did in the past. And also uh, I recognized that um, haste has very very good synergies or will have very very good synergies in wallets of drain also this is also a reason why i choose to use haste and so far i can tell you that um, the huge amount of haste improved already uh, or decreased in a very positive way the cooldown of some of our main or my main attacks like a lava lash for example has now a cooldown of 8.14 seconds my shock my or my frost shock has a cooldown of 4.65 seconds my uh storm strike has a um has a cooldown of 5.81 seconds so this is not bad and it seems that it works fine it's not i'm still not i would not um, i'm still struggling with it yeah but really haste has great improvements for us it also has very good synergies and um the main reason why i've decided to pick pick uh, haste instead of uh mastery is because of a passive skill that we have and this is known as lightning strike so let's go in a game or in one of two games which i prepared for you and i will tell you a little bit about lightning strikes for this luckily i found an article or a thread written by a shaman called alamism alamism whatsoever uh thank you for this buddy very well written i haven't proved that if that this everything that's written inside this is right but it sounds right and i will um set a link into the video description so that you can read it for yourself and prove it so uh about lightning strikes uh haste in wallet of Reno, haste looks to be the cheapest itemized stat per one percent of benefit and this will only be helped by the new shaman enhancement passive lightning strikes also the description for this skill i will uh, set into the video description so that you can read it for yourself lightning strikes will increase the amount of haste gaining through our gear amongst other sources by third five percent effectively making it cost only 76 points of haste rating for one person benefit but haste isn't just cheap it's efficient and in wallets of Draenor we are gaining multiple new synergies for haste wind fury weapons internal cooldown previously three seconds back in mist of panaria has been removed which means every auto attack will now have a chance to proc wind fury without having to worry that you were getting too fast and attacking within the inner cooldown of wind fury next haste synergy improved Flame shock. Um, fl we improved flame shock was, uh, I think, three weeks ago. It was available for level 90. Right now, it seems not anymore to be available. I don't know how it is for level 100, but anyway. So, um, next synergy: improved flame shock. A Drano perk. Also, uh, I will set a link into the video description so that you can read it for yourself. Improved fl flame shock gives each of your flame shock takes a chance to reset the cooldown on your lava lash haste will speed up your flame shock commonly mating in a particle tick of damage and the end or a full extra tick depending on where your haste rating is more haste means more ticks more ticks means more chances for free lava lash reset more free lava lash reset means more damage nice finally large haste synergy redesigned flurry also the link for this i will set into the video description an enhancement 
staples of a Bugon era, Bygon, ah, uh, enhancement sta staple of a Bygon era, the redesigned Flurry is a passive game changer, choosing your haste to reduce the cooldown of pretty much all of our most important abilities. I'm personally looking for uh, I'm, I'm personally looking forward to a time where I can stack Bloodlust on a Mental Mastery and Ascendant and hopefully spam Storm Strike every 15 seconds. Uh, uh, no, 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 not every, sorry, my fault. And Ascendant and hopefully spam Storm Strike for 15 seconds. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> not, <laughs> not joking. I'm, uh, I'm not sure we'll ever reach that level of haste, but as uh, a shaman can dream so these are the main reasons and it's really perfectly ro uh, written so i like i said i will set this link uh, for this uh, article into the video description so that you can read it for yourself but it's it's really perfectly i i would not be able to tell you by myself why i think that it's the right thing to choose um haste instead of mastery when it comes to pvp i'm not sure how well we will do in pvp when we do pick haste instead of uh, of mastery and it's still like i said i'm personally i'm not a big fan of uh of haste yeah i i don't know why it is so it's something personal i i prefer quality instead of quantity but when we do use in such an amount haste it leans somewhere into um, quantity over quality so mm, personally this is not the way i like to 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 go or i like to choose but it is what it is and uh, we have to deal with that but it's not all bad i think it might work or I don't I'm not only think that it might work I really hope that it will work I mean I'm not sure how well um, I'm still not sure how well the game will be balanced in level 90 so mm, difficult to say but I really hope that it works perfectly for level 100 so that we will be able to have to, to have not only fun but to enjoy our class as enhancement shaman in pvp because that this is the reason why we do play we want to enjoy we want to be uh we we want to be competitive against other classes and to have uh nice battles and something that we don't want to have is like this <laughs> something like that you die <laughs> you get you get set to the uh, graveyard and you recognize oh the, the, the reviving is going on, uh, but no, you won't be under the, uh, between the chosen ones for the revival, so yeah, and also a little bit unfortunate, uh, you'll see me uh, getting revived, dying, getting, uh, getting revived, attacking the hunter and again being killed, because they are, I'm not sure how many do I have to fight at once, three guys? It looks like three guys looks like two hunters plus a million pets plus a rogue so uh, maybe not the best uh, moment to be in or maybe maybe uh, you know what it's always not a good thing to fight multiple uh, opponents at once but it is what it is and we have to deal with that so not bad at all i would say so let's try to kill this mage but he is an ice block so no way to kill him now and now it looks like he has uh, chosen to run away uh maybe not the worst decision that he has done but okay let's let's do a satisfying kill on his uh pet oh yeah ha. i feel so mighty yeah this was so satisfying <laughs> okay uh now the hunter but oh gosh i got some company on my back hmm. maybe not the best decision to go in there but still a decision that i have done so let's try to bring this guy down it doesn't look it doesn't look bad it looks like we've got somewhere on our back a healer i think we do have a healer somewhere behind us and look at this now 
I spread my flame shot to multiple targets. So I will start to use Fire Dover. And when you do something like this, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad at all. Um, when it comes to AoE damage or area damage whatsoever, doing damage on multiple targets, um, it seems that uh, not only in PvP, but I think it will also work very well in PvE um, when you do use Fire Dover. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by the amount of damage Fire Dover is able to do, and um, together with, or, or when you do combine it with uh, Echo of Elements, where you're able to use it twice in the raw, hmm, not bad I would say not bad at all but still uh, using using haste instead of uh, master but I mean uh, to be honest I don't miss really mastery because I don't feel like like I would miss a ton of damage it, it's it's not that point um, and I do not and I don't mean that I don't miss damage because I'm right now I'm, I'm I'm hitting, f I do far more hits than I did before, or stuff like that, that's not the point. The point is, uh, even even by, by uh, using haste instead of uh, mastery, the crits and hits I'm doing with, for an example, lava lash, lightning bolts and stuff like that, seems to be more or less equal, so I don't missing <laughs> mastery and um, haste, yeah, great synergy, like I told you, three three very good synergies for us as Enhancement Shaman, and yeah, not bad. So here, a personal duel, one-on-one, -on -one, me versus the Rogue. Good beginning for the Rogue, not bad at all, but now I've chosen, or I've used nearly every available defense cooldown to kill this guy, and it doesn't look bad for me, now I get also some... some uh, some support, so sadly wise, also the rogue decided to run away, but we got another target, we have a death knight, I'm not sure what kind of death knight this is, is this maybe a blood decay, I don't know, uh, looks like a frost decay, and when you do look on the damage I'm doing, it's, mm, it's a little bit... It's like I said, it's it's not quality, it's quant it's con quantity now, yeah? It's not uh, one big hit that we do, it's more of the amount of hits we are doing to, to be competitive. But n still, right now I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. I do not feel... It, it, for me right now, it feels like missing something. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but... It feels like I do miss something. This is uh, actually the problem that I have. And sometimes, uh, especially when, I don't know why, but sometimes classes, especially a uh, class like, like Death Knight, I'm struggling by killing them. Because they do stay alive. <laughs> they won't die. <laughs> I, 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 not, I'm not sure how they are able to stay alive. But sometimes, especially like this, I mean, yeah, he gets, he gets some healing from behind, but still, it's, I'm, I'm, my, my damage, or the damage of, from, from three or four of us, it's not enough to kill this Frost Death Knight during he gets healed by only one healer, so this is... This is some kind of moment where I do ask, or where I do, where I always have to ask myself: Is this what it should be? And most of the time, I can. I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion hmm, that um, it, it, it doesn't feel like it should, or that it's not what it should. So, yeah, most of the time, a little bit, a little bit difficult. So, yeah. Also, right now, uh, I get attacked by multiple targets and uh, not only so but I also get killed <laughs> so what, what was it that killed me a rope and a retribution paladin and here I have to fight two rogues at once but it looks a little bit weird because it looks like 
that both of these rogues, one has really crappy gear, um, he's very everything else than competitive. The other one, I'm not sure about that. Um, sometimes he, sometimes the damage he's doing is okay, but sometimes it's also not what I saw in the past from other rogues. So I don't know, maybe maybe there was some uh, some some patch or whatever where they decreased some of their skills or damage or whatsoever but uh yeah i survived um but i was forced to use like every every possible skill to stay alive uh, every every um skill that that would uh give me some damage and also increase my survivability so I nearly really used everything against him to just stay alive and luckily I got supported from a healing shaman so yeah uh, I survived and here here we got a uh, retribution paladin but so far I can tell you this guy has really crappy gear I mean look at this um, he's dying he's really absolutely not everything else than competitive to stay away uh, stay alive so um, yeah unfortunately for him uh, he gets not only attacked by me, but also attacked from a Fury Warrior. So it was just a matter of time until he dies. And there, yeah, there is the Zerg is coming. <laughs> nope, I'm not looking forward to fight against them because I don't want to be trained. Uh, I don't like the feeling or I don't like to be in a situation where it feels like a train is driving over your face multiple times it uh there is no there is no 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 joy in such things so i try to stay away from that but uh, compared to the last time where i was very focused on a stat mastery and like i said all my my uh all my gems and uh, some of my enchants would improve my uh, mastery rating Right now, with haste, I feel more competitive. And here, for example, there is this is the cre crappy rogue. Did you saw this? Uh, he's absolutely not competitive. Not from skill. We don't talk about skill here, or, or about the class. We just talk about um, about the equipment. And equipment-wise, this guy looks uh, very very underrated. This this is the best thing I can say. Or very uncompetitive maybe this sounds more por political right or whatever also um this enhancement shaman i'm not sure about that uh, um, he's taking some damage but also shamanistic rage looks like he's, he already used it so uh, damage has decreased against him but uh, still looks like he's wearing looks like he's wearing crappy gear so also this guy was uh, not really competitive not with that gear i mean no one it is really competitive with bad gear so hmm, yeah it is what it is but another target so again the retribution paladin nice hit nice hit but only happens against targets which are a little bit weaker let's say it this way and this is something i don't get uh i was able to i'm not sure maybe he used cloak of shadows i think this is the only the only way how he was able to do so um, so he used Cloak of Shadows or he has he must use uh, Cloak of Shadows because I not only uh, set Flame Shock on him but uh, he, he took the, the energy reviving restoring stuff whatever and then he escaped and uh, yeah I don't know how he did so because the only only way how he was able to do so uh, would be by using uh, Cloak of Shadows, so that he would remove the dot. And here we have a mage. But the, 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 this mage looks like uh, he also escaped. No, there he is. Oh, little scumbag. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. But I get disorientated, and now prepare for a nice fight. A nice 1v1. Me versus the rogue. Rogue opens on me. Not bad. I'm still alive. Good sign. So now I have to use everything that's available for me to... And, and I need to make every hit count. He's, uh, he has slightly the upper hand in this, in this battle right now. It's hard to hit him. He's 
evading every of my attacks. And now I can heal myself. Now I have absolutely the upper hand. And then he dies. So game over for the rock. I think also that I get some support from the back. But still I I, I think I can uh, I can say that I would be able to heal this guy by my own. And again the same guy. The same fight. Let's see what will happen. Not bad at all. What's nice is when something like this will happen. I have five millstone weapon, use them for self heal and again five millstone weapon. When something like this happens then you are really hardcore. Then then enhancement becomes very hard to kill because as long as you have your uh, uh, five stacks of millstone weapon uh, you always uh, get an increased self heal by 50%, not anymore 100% like it was in the past, sadly wise, but okay. And also uh, a decreased uh, cast time of 100%, which uh, makes it really, really hard to kill an enhancement shaman, as long as he gets not trained by five or whatsoever targets. Then it's, uh, it's nice, it's really, really nice. So I think uh, this. This looks better. It looks better to pick uh, haste instead of mastery. It feels more competitive. Oh, I feel more competitive. So now I'm killing this, yeah, unlucky guy with only crappy gear. And now I have to fight again multiple targets. Uh, not the. Not, for, not the red paladin is here the problem. The problem I have is the caster. Seems to be tough. And seems to run away. Little scumbag. But you'll see the retribution paladin, yes, he's doing damage and he's doing it well. But uh, because of bad gear, he's not really competitive to uh, set me under real pressure. But now I have. I don't know, multiple targets, multiple enemies on my back, four or five guys. Uh, yeah, this is uh, a little bit unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. We have to deal with that. And again, Mr. Rogue, but uh, he decided to escape. Maybe not the worst decision. So, but you maybe already recognized. I will do, I will try to do one more test on the PTR. I'm not sure that I will have enough time to do so, I, but I will try. I promise. If uh, I'm not able to do it on a on a PTR, then I will do it on a live server with my own as uh, shaman. Uh, instead of picking um, haste, I will try to pick um, f or will go with full crit rating. Yeah, so that I will have an example how well crit works for us as enhancement shaman. And right now, mm, even when I don't, don't like haste as enhancement shaman, it seems to be the better stat. Depending what, uh, from, from what I know and uh, also depending on the information I shared with you, which remember yourself, are set, or all links are set in the video description so make sure that you do read them and know what's going on and also one more time thank you to Elamism Elamism level 90 Pandaren Shaman on Outlandish or whatsoever <laughs> thank you there guy uh, great uh, great thread that you have uh, written really really nice work so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I hope you like what you saw we are coming to the end of this video so make sure to share some love with the thumb up button also feel free to subscribe to my channel and once again thank you for your attention until next time you're super gambo